Jesus said, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the, of the earth. earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before and bend the, the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to His voice. Psalm one hundred and twenty. When I was in trouble, I called to the Lord. I called to the Lord, and he answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips and from the deceitful tongue. What shall be done to you, and what more besides? O you deceitful tongue, the sharpened arrows of a warrior, along with hot glowing coals. How hateful it is that I must lodge in Meshach and dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had to live among the enemies of peace. I am on the side of peace, but when I speak of it, they are for war. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The neither Lord slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is in unity with itself. To which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel to praise the name of the Lord. For there are thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren's and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of their mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God. To the until Lord our God, until he show us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy for we have had more than enough of contempt, too much of the scorn of the indolent rich and of the derision of the proud. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 5. Afterward, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. But Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should heed his voice and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and moreover, I will not let Israel go. Then they said, the God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us go, we pray, a three days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. But the king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you take the people away from their work? Get to your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and you make them rest from their burdens. The same day Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people and their foremen, You should no longer give the people straw to make bricks, as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. But the number of bricks which they made heretofore shall lay upon them. You shall by no means lessen it, for they are idle. Therefore they cry, Let us go and offer sacrifice to our God. Let heavier work be laid upon the men, that they may labor at it and pay no regard to lying words. So the taskmasters and the foremen of the people went out and said to the people, Thus says Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go yourselves, get your straw wherever you can find it but your work will not be lessened in the least. So the people were scattered abroad throughout the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. The taskmasters were urgent, saying, Complete your work, your daily task, as when there was straw. And the foremen of the people of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set out over them, were beaten and were asked, why have you not done all your task by making bricks today as heretofore? Then the foreman of the people of Israel came and cried to Pharaoh, Why do you deal with thus? Why do you deal thus with your servants? No straw is given to your servants, yet they say to us, Make bricks. And behold, your servants are beaten, for the fault is in your own people. But he said, You are idle. You are idle. Therefore you say, Let us go and sacrifice to the Lord. Go now and work, for no straw shall be given you. Yet you shall deliver the same number of bricks. The foremen of the people of Israel saw that they were in evil plight when they said, You shall by no means lessen your daily number of bricks. They met Moses and Aaron, who were waiting for them, as they came forth from Pharaoh. And they said to them, The Lord look upon you and judge, because you have made us offensive in the sight of Pharaoh and his servants, and have put a sword in their hand to kill us. Then Moses turned again to the Lord and said, O Lord, why hast thou done evil to this people? Why didst thou ever send me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he has done evil to this people, and thou hast not delivered thy people at all. But the Lord said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand he will send them out, yea, with a strong hand he will drive them out of his land. Here ends the reading. Benedictus. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou for the name of thy majesty, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temples of thy holiness, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou that beholdeth the depths and dwellest, dwellest between the cherubim, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou on the glorious throne of thy kingdom, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, praised and exalted above all forever. 
Blessed art thou, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praised and exalted above all forever. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone shall be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand. Heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, Thy saving health. saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. O oh, Almighty God, who alone canst order the unruly wills and affections of sinful men, grant unto thy people that they may love the thing which thou commandest, and desire 
that which thou dost promise, that so among the sundry and manifold changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace, so clothe us in thy spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee. For the honor of thy name. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, who dividest the day from the night and turnest the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep thy law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done thy will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night cometh, rejoice to give thee thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The General Thanksgiving Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty things for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus redemption Christ. Of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. All our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.